Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today I'm going to be doing another video on quoting for cakes. Now, quoting can be very, very challenging, and there's many facets to actually quoting for a cake. So what I decided to do was go to five local bakeries and ask them to quote a cake that I had made in the past. For this particular little experiment, I went to bakeries where we kind of already know each other in the cake community. I decided to ask them how much they would quote for this particular rainbow cake that I made a few weeks ago. Now, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I generally do a tutorial of some sort and then I give my pricing guide at the very end. So when I asked for a quote for this cake, I said that it was a six inch and eight inch vanilla cake filled with vanilla buttercream and then fully coated in fondant with fondant details. For myself, I would charge $300 for this cake in total. So let's get started with the quotes from other local bakeries in my area. Bakery number one is Jujar's Dessert Bar. I am so impressed with this Instagram feed, so I am going to be posting all of the bakery's Instagram handles down in the description box below so you can go and check them out. His caking style is all about the glitz and the glamour, and I love all of the super over-the-top wedding cakes he makes. His quote for the cake is $380 Canadian. Bakery number two is Ready Made Cakes. Now this bakery is a little bit further from me, but her style is absolutely perfection. I love that she does so many different things with her cakes. And one of the things that really stood out to me was that she really loves simplicity, yet she's able to nail all of these details as well. Her quote for the cake is $300 Canadian. Moving along to bakery number three, Shook Up Cakes. Literally, I am shook by these cakes. Her ability to do 3D carved cakes is absolutely impeccable. She has way more stuff on her Instagram that is absolutely amazing. I highly suggest you go and check her out. Her quote for this cake is $400. Bakery number four is a little bit of a smaller bakery, but one of the things that really stands out for me is her distinct style, especially when it comes to characters and fondant work. And her quote for this cake would be $225 Canadian. This final bakery wanted to remain anonymous, but their cakes are very, very versatile and they pretty much can do anything for any occasion. Their quote for this cake is $425 Canadian. So here are the findings of my quoting experiment. Number one, home bakeries versus commercial bakeries. Now, what I expected to find prior to actually doing this is I expected to find that for the most part, home bakeries would be cheaper than those that have an actual storefront because obviously a storefront has a lot more overhead costs than a home bakery does but I still found that home bakery versus other home bakery and commercial bakery versus other commercial bakeries did still have quite a wide range between them in terms of pricing. Discovery number two, geographical location. Now I knew this played some part, which is why I chose bakeries that were all local to me, but I was actually quite surprised that even locations just 30 minutes away from myself were quite a bit different in pricing. Now, I did take quite a small sample size of each location, so it's hard to say definitively or not if this is true. However, I do know that when I do go into local cafes and things like that, I do find the pricing a little bit cheaper in these areas. So I do think there is some truth to that. Discovery number three is that everything was relatively in the same ballpark. Now I realize that from the least expensive cake to the more pricier cake, there was a $200 difference, but it wasn't as if someone was charging $50 or under $100 for the cake and someone was charging $400. It still was relatively in that range of a luxury cake price. Whenever I am pricing cakes or cookies, I always try to look at this from a customer perspective. Now, being in the cake world and a cake decorator myself, I have a lot more understanding than maybe the average customer, so I really, really try to put myself in their shoes. And from what I can see, yes, there is a big difference from bakery to bakery, but when it comes down to it, I think I would choose the bakery whose style I liked the most. And honestly, all of the bakeries that I showed you today, they all had stunning cakes, but they also had their own distinct style. And I think when it comes down to it, that's going to be the difference of whether 
whether somebody chooses your bakery or not. Other factors that also play a part is obviously the taste of your baked goods, as well as maybe the location of your shop or home. In general, this whole experiment kind of solidified my philosophy that I already had going into quoting for cakes. In general, having a baseline that you can start from is a good idea, especially if you're just starting out and you want to see kind of what the people are doing locally. But in conclusion, quoting is very personal. You need to feel like the type of work that you are doing is worth it for yourself and you are providing a quality product for your customer. This is why it is super important not to lower your prices. And if somebody says that another bakery is offering it cheaper, that very may well be, but you need to make sure that you feel comfortable with your pricing and you're confident with your pricing as well. If you're just starting out and you do want a little bit of guidance on how to get started, then you can go ahead and check out this video in the right hand corner. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you learned something from it. I know I did from doing this because I really haven't investigated what other people were doing around me for a long time since I've been at this for a while. And actually, sometimes when you've been doing something for a while, you can kind of get stuck in your own world of how things are. So I really loved seeing what other people are doing around me as well. Thank you so much to all of the bakeries that participated in this quoting experiment. If you love amazing cake decorators and you love seeing beautiful cakes on your feed, go and check out their Instagram handles, which again, I will link down in the description box below. I am not affiliated or sponsored by any of these bakeries. They are just wonderful, wonderful, talented cake decorators. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!